How's it going? It's going great. How are you doing? I'm well. Uh, I heard what you said before. That was very nice of you to say. I appreciate it. Oh, it's true. <laughs> it's absolutely true. Yeah. Well, um, why don't you get us started by telling us who you are, where you are, and what you do? Well, uh, my name is Will Donnelly. I play guitar in the band Low Cut Connie. Um, I'm here in my South Philadelphia home um, with my plants and my cat. Uh, I have my coffee mug here for contemplative sips and various gesturing and such. Um, yeah. You're a pro. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. I try. Um, so I want to, before we get into, I had sent you a couple questions, but I want to talk about um, your Sunday guitar requests that you do on Instagram. You were doing that before all this started, right? Yeah, it pretty much started out of boredom because we weren't on the road during the winter before all this started. And uh, yeah, I mean, I just like playing a bunch of random songs, you know, they don't have to be all guitar, you know, it can be like a Lizzo song or like a Britney Spears song or something. Just wanted to see what what people thought was a good song to request and sort of took off from there. It's been really fun. I've been trying to get my requests in when I know I'm going to be around. <laughs> um, tell everybody how it, how it works. If they haven't done it before, today's the perfect day. Yeah. Um, so uh, I take over the Low Cut Connie Instagram page. And on the storyline, um, yeah, just ask, you know, what song do you want to hear? And <clears throat> usually I roll them out by around like six o'clock. Um, yeah, like guitar, bass, uh, whatever is, whatever you think is a good song to listen to. They're so fun. And then you add the little uh, like <laughs> sticky things to it, which are always super clever. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, just messing around, like, you know, you see if like a if some band has like an emoji for them or like the song title, like you know, something always hap you know, I always find something funny. <laughs> well, I always love those. Um, so, how have you been passing the time other than the the guitar requests? How are you? Uh, how are you keeping yourself occupied? Yeah. Um, well. Uh, for the first couple of weeks, I was watching a lot of really trashy movies, <laughs> um, you know, crossword puzzles, cooking food and stuff. Um, I worked part time at a bar uh, when I went home and that just opened, reopened recently for takeout. So I'm doing that a couple days a week and uh, Loka Connie is streaming live Thursdays and Saturdays as well um, on all platforms. And I've just rejoined that. So uh, now I actually have like kind of a full week. It's kind of weird. <laughs> That's good. Getting yeah. back into it. You know, the very first one that you guys did, it was you and Adam. Um, he went off camera uh, and then he came back on in his <laughs> underwear. And it was the first time it, ha it had happened. And I had bronchitis. I laughed so hard that I had a coughing fit and was like crying. <laughs> um, those have been bringing people a lot of joy and they've been getting a lot of really great attention too. Um, I'm glad that you've rejoined. He kept them going for a while uh, yeah. on his own. Um, but, you know, Rolling Stone talked about it. It was in that article in the Inquirer, the Philadelphia Inquirer. Um, do you, have you found, um, what kind of response have you been getting from your existing fans? And then do you think it's brought some new people to, to what you guys are doing too? Yeah, absolutely. Um, we didn't really know how well it was going to go uh, the first time we tried it. And the response was so overwhelming. And it really just sort of took off from there. Like, I mean, we live pretty close to each other uh, in South Philly, so, you know, like maybe eight or 10 blocks. So I just like schlepped all my stuff over. And it's sort of like been evolving as the weeks have gone on. And when I wasn't able to join him, Adam really has been holding it down and I mean we didn't think we would be people like sharing their internet journey on a weekly basis you know like we're not those kind of millennials or gen z but I guess we are now <laughs> <laughs> well you know I've been doing these uh Sunday chats for this is the ninth week I've talked to more than 50 people wow. I can't tell you how many times it's come up where people 
have said like, yeah, well, if you feel awkward about playing to your phone or your laptop, like go watch what those guys are doing. Because <laughs> <laughs> there's no inhibition. I mean, Adam is who Adam is, right? Like that's just mm -hmm. him all the time. Um, yeah. Low Cut Connie always makes the party, even if it's into the phone across the internet, so. I mean, yeah, it's really just him and his wife is filming. And it's really hard to gauge the response while you're doing it because you really are just sitting in a small living room, you know, in a tiny row home. And then once you're finished and you look at all the reception, it's it's really incredible. You know, also like the random comments people will say, you know, it's <laughs> people are weird, man. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and it's been interesting too to watch uh, when I tune into one of the live streams, anybody's that has um, a really big audience. I think a lot of people don't understand how social media works. <laughs> yeah. Like they think that you can hear what they're saying. <laughs> yeah, and I know. like talking at you. And um, sometimes the chats are a really good part of it because we're talking to each other. I feel like that's what the chat function is there for. But yeah, uh, I've noticed but when most. people are trying to talk to you guys while you're playing, it's kind of funny and also pretty annoying. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm a little busy at the moment playing music and stuff. So. <laughs> right, right. So have you gotten to listen to much music to other people's music while this has been going on? Absolutely. I mean, uh, actually for like the live streams and stuff, the Neil Young stuff was amazing. Um, actually, just this week, uh, I don't know if you caught the uh, the live Prince concert from 1985. That was amazing. Oh, yeah. oh, my God, that was amazing. <laughs> Like, it just, it's a really nice reminder that we're all just chumps as far as musicians are concerned. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, we can all jockey for second place, right? Yeah, you know, <laughs> a coveted spot. <laughs> yeah, I'm a big Prince fan, so uh, I, you know, watched and ugly cried through the whole thing, and I'm really glad that it's available out there in the ether for us to enjoy. Yeah, that was, like, the most I've smiled in a long time. It was amazing to watch. Yeah, like, you know, he's wearing like assless gaucho pants, you know? <laughs> like, I could never do that. <laughs> um, speaking of comments in the chat here, somebody just asked, how long does it take Will to prep all the requests? It's impressive how many songs he does each week. And I look forward to it, especially the bass videos. I, I wonder that too, how long does it take? Because they're probably not all songs you already knew. No. Um, that's part of the challenge, really. Uh, it, you know, maybe about, I think I do about <clears throat> between like 15 and 20, and then maybe add or remove a couple, usually from like three to six, like a couple hours. And it's fun to like, <clears throat> the other part of the challenge is sort of like trying to get the sound right, you know, and also like, you know, uh, and any, any request that has bass involved, I'm always down. I love playing bass, <laughs> maybe more than playing guitar, but you know. Now, so we get to see just a clip because it's in stories. So how <clears throat> much of the song are you learning to get whatever clip you want? I'll like, I'll listen to the whole thing and play along with it. And then if there's a section that I particularly like, I'll really focus in on it and try to get it down exactly or as, as good as I can, you know. Um, yeah, not too long, maybe <clears throat> like 15 minutes, maybe 20 minutes each one, you know, and also like getting a good take. There's right. hundreds and hundreds of abandoned videos of me fucking up on guitar. <laughs> <laughs> um, tell me here in the middle of, you know, a weekend in the middle of May, where, where would you be right now had this not all happened, you know? Um, definitely. Uh, I would have been out on the road, I would say. Uh, we were slated to perform at Jazz Fest this year, which oh, was going to be definitely a landmark performance for us. And then, you know, that got moved back and then eventually canceled, of course. Um, there was some other good concerts coming up. There was going to be a hometown show in the summer. The, uh, <clears throat> the Daryl Hall and John Oates Festival, Hokie Nation. Yeah, we're gonna do that as well. Um, a couple other things. I'm not sure if I'm at liberty to talk about, but they're not happening okay. anyway. <laughs> right, right, right. But you'd be very busy right now as a band. Definitely, this is where the the touring season gets really heavy. Yeah, you guys have been really busy. Um, 
I know I hosted you twice in like 2014 or 15. Um, right before Obama, I blame Obama for not being able to afford to book you anymore because he put you guys, he put Boozophilia on the summer playlist his last year in office. Mm -hmm. um, and I feel like uh, that's not necessarily what made it, uh, made the trajectory speed up, but um, I'm sure it was, it was part of it. And it just happened so fast. And you've been along for that whole ride, right? Yeah, I've been in the band almost seven years, I guess seven years in September. Yeah, it was insane. I, I woke up one morning, like a little hungover maybe, <laughs> and see a message from Adam, the lead singer. And he's like, dude, you're not gonna believe this. <laughs> like it was incredibly surreal. And as a matter of fact, that day, we were performing up in Wayne, New Jersey, which is like super North Jersey. Yeah. At this really weird club that was in a hotel. And we were opening for the band Drama Rama. <laughs> and uh, the guy who was putting on the show, this great guy, uh, Rich Russo from New Jersey, he was introducing us and he's like, they were just put on Obama's playlist today, like give it up for low cut Connie and everyone's like, uh, okay, you know, <laughs> like, we're not here for that. <laughs> so it was, I was brought back down to earth uh, just as soon as it, as soon as I went up in the sky. <laughs> well, I care. I think it's a super cool feather to have in the proverbial cap. Yeah, I don't think I'll ever uh, really truly take that one in. <laughs> yeah, well, between Obama and Elton John, you've got some, uh, some, some fans who have a, an audience of their own. So I'm sure that's gotta be surreal some serious heavy hitters but you know everyone counts you, know, <laughs> you yeah. matter just as much as the next person that's a good way to look at it mm -hmm. talk to me a little bit about what that's been like as you guys have um grown over the last seven years that you've been in the band and playing playing bigger and bigger venues and bigger festivals what's that been like well <clears throat> you know every sort of milestone i guess you call it that we've achieved over the years it it never really feels like one. It's always a very slow climb and you're just kind of continually just like punching your way, you know, at, to the top or at least the middle. And uh, you never really get to fully take it in until you look back and it's like, oh yeah, we did play this amazing concert or this did happen. Um, I just noticed your cat was bothering you. Mine was just a minute ago. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my uh, you have a gray cat, right? That's yeah. That's, uh, you have one that looks just like my cat that just passed away, and uh, oh really? And sorry, um, yeah. this one just I can't keep her out of the phone calls and <laughs> Zoom Zoom calls and whatever. She just wants to be in it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. My cat's name is Tubbs, and she's a true queen. Um, she doesn't mess around. Uh, she's usually trying to bite my ankles while I'm on a phone call or something like that, or doing these guitar requests. But, but she's a sweetheart though. Yeah, can you imagine uh, being stuck at home all this time without a pet? Because I can't. My house might be a little cleaner. That's the only <laughs> upside that I could think of. Good trade off, yeah, that's true. <laughs> um, so you're starting, life is starting to get back to a little bit of normalcy for you now because you're yeah. getting to go back to work a little bit and um, you're back in these live streams with Adam. What What is the thing that you're really looking forward to uh, really fully returning to normal? What are the things you've been missing that you can't wait to see or do again? Um, absolutely <clears throat> touring and playing shows that that goes without saying. Um, the traveling, maybe not as much, you know, <laughs> but uh, I mean, you know, just being able to go outside, go to a bar. The amount of money I've saved by not going to bars has been astounding. <laughs> That's an eye opener, yeah. <laughs> um, I will say when I am doing some work at the bar, uh, it's basically just handing bags of food and booze out a window. Mm -hmm. And I gotta say, I don't really wanna go back to like, <laughs> like crappy bar customers getting wasted and hanging out way too long. I mean, you know, it's a trade off for everything, but. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's a good point. There are definitely some things I'm not looking forward to putting back <laughs> into practice. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, 
uh, why don't you wrap it up for us by telling us um, where we can go to find out more information about you and how we best support you and the things that are important to you? Um, well, definitely what's important to me right now is uh, being able to perform on a weekly basis uh, with Adam, uh, Low Cut Connie, um, on every Thursday and Saturday starting at uh, 6 o'clock. Yeah, 6 o'clock, right. <laughs> um, and I do my thing here on Sundays. Um, you know, I usually roll requests out about 6, but I usually put the uh, submission form up at around now. Um, yeah. Um, I already got my submission in for today. Oh, you did? Excellent. I can't wait to see it. <laughs> <laughs> I will absolutely, no matter how ridiculous the request is, I will try to fulfill it. Yes. It's another Philly <laughs> band. So. Oh, yeah? Nice. Yeah. 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 Um, I hope you're doing well. Um, you're in York, correct? I am. Yeah. Yeah. I like, yeah. I like the, uh, is this your living room? Or are you... It is. I dig I, it. I uh, love the color. Thanks. It's called Library Red. I worked library at the library for Red. almost 10 years. So what? when I bought this house, I worked at the library. So it seemed like it was meant to be. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, a very comforting red. My house, mm. my house is uh, like a lavender purple on the outside with like purple tiling. I, uh, my girlfriend hates it, but I love it. <laughs> <laughs> I love purple. It's a great color. I'll I'll show you a photo if I can. But... Yeah, especially lavender. It's a soothing color. Absolutely. You know, I have it's... this um, huge old piano that I don't know how to play, and um, <laughs> I have bands crashing at my house all the time when they're on tour. Nobody's touring, so nobody's playing the piano. So, <laughs> poor, poor giant paperweight collecting dust. <laughs> yeah, one. Surprisingly, like one of the instruments I can't play is the piano. I thought maybe this would be the time to teach myself, but of course I haven't gotten around to it. That's but. just slacker, Will. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying my best out here, man. <laughs> well, listen, I really appreciate you taking the time, especially when you have like however many uh, guitar songs you have to um, you have to learn today. <laughs> oh, for you, I'll take all the time you need. Oh, thank you. Anybody who's listening, I'm uh, talking to Alex Smith at three o'clock and Avi Wisnia, who I see in the chat here, who's saying he would gladly play my piano. Avi is <laughs> in Philly as well. That'll be at four. And I'm doing this every Sunday till I can leave the house again. So a little while longer, I think. But I really, really appreciate you taking some time to talk to me. Yeah, I appreciate hanging out with you. It was really nice. Thanks. And I can't wait for the new album. I pre-ordered it already. Yeah, October 13th. I God, how could I forget? I got to promote an album coming out. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Private okay. Lives coming out October 13th. Double album. It's taken a long time to make, but uh, I am extremely proud of it. It is full of absolute bangers, and it's awesome. It's like nothing we've done before. I have no doubt. You guys are always so much fun. You're insane live. Anyone who hasn't seen Low Cut Connie live, like, what are you even doing with your life? Get get on it as soon as we can go do that again. Put that at the top of your list. <laughs> I know, man. Seriously. Jeez. So much fun. Well, thank you again, and be well, and I'll look forward to seeing the, the guitar requests this evening. Yeah, you too. Stay safe, stay well, and uh, yeah, I'll see you soon. Okay. Bye-bye, Will. See ya.